so what kind of legal structure do I want? You know, there are things as sole proprietorships. I could just have my own business. I can go in with partners. So I can have a partnership. I can also start a corporation. Or I may want to opt for a limited liability company. Now, the reason why you may want to start your own business and, and create a new entity is so you can insulate yourself from personal liability from those of your corporation if you have obligations and debts. So most of my clients usually come to me and they want to form either a corporation or a lim limited liability company. So corporations you're probably well aware of. You hear about them in the news all the time. They are a little more formal in their structure. They usually have a board of directors that determines what the strategy is going to be for that business. You'll have officers who run the day-to-day -day operations. And the board, uh, um, the officers implement the plan from the board. And the board, they have to report to their shareholders. So the shareholders are the owners of the corporation. They tend to be a little more formal in their structure in that they have annual meetings that they're required to hold and they report on their meetings. So whatever decisions they may have when they get together, there's a formal record of it. Now on the other hand, you can have a limited liability company where, again, it's a little less formal, but yet you still have that insulation for liability purposes. So you, uh, with a limited liability company, you are not required to hold these annual meetings. However, you will do that because you want to have some, side of, some type of structure or how you organize yourselves. And then also, if you have meetings, I always encourage people, even though it's not required, that you actually record those minutes. So if you decide on you know, acquiring a building or you're going to purchase another company or you're going to do some other type of business acquisition that you want to have a record of it. You don't want to just go to a meeting, say, there, yeah, this is what we're going to do, and then nothing else. So some of the things that um, differentiate the limited liability company and a corporation are you know, what type of ownership you have. Do your owners need to be US citizens? Are you able to split any profits or business losses on your personal income taxes? So for instance, a corporation right now, when they are taxed, um, if there's a profit in the business, that profit is taxed at a corporate tax. Now, if those profits are then distributed to the shareholders, which are the owners of the company, well, then once that distribution is made, that's taxed at your personal tax level. Difference with the limited liability company is that you are taxed at your personal tax um, bracket. So if I have a limited liability company and I have four other, uh, four other members, because as opposed to corporation who has shareholders, limited liability companies have members, I may have a different tax bracket than maybe the two other members that are part of the organization. So there are definitely benefits to it. Um, following now the recent changes in the tax laws, they may not be as extreme as they once were, but it's something to consider. So when you're looking at the type of entity or structure that you'd like to have, it's a good idea to talk to your legal counsel and your accountant just to figure out what's best for you. Now, getting into the state of formation. Where do you want to be incorporated, or where do you want to have your company formed? Well, lots of people will do it in the state where they reside, or where the principal office is going to be. So if I'm going to open up a business in New York, I may say, I'm going to form my organization in the state of New York. So I'll make a filing with the Secretary of State in New York. Other people may want to file in Delaware. You may have heard that Delaware is very favorable to businesses. So again, that may be another option. So these are things that you would want to discuss again with your attorney or your accountant, so this way you find out what's the best option for you. Getting into the ownership structure, um, again, what type of organization do you want? How is it going to be set up? Are you going to be working with friends and family? Do you think you're going to keep it small? Do you think that you're looking to the future that you want to be acquired? Well, then in such case, maybe you want a different entity than you originally thought, something that allows you to grow. Maybe you want to be able to get investors down the line. And then management structure. Again, how formalized do you want to be? Do you want it where you need to have your meetings um, that are very structured? And again, if you have investors, maybe a C corporation is the way to go. But in some cases, a limited liability may also be beneficial to you. So again, these are just things that you want to think about before diving into a, to starting up your new entity.